Greetings. So this is going to be a mini um, pick a card reading. And this is going to be what messages do your ancestors, your divine loved ones on the other side, what messages do they have for you? So I'm going to ask you to choose between pile one, two, or three. Okay. Give you guys a moment to meditate and reflect on which pile stands out to you the most. Okay. <clears throat> so... Pile one, what does your ancestors want you to know? We're going to be using this deck here. I can't remember the deck's name. Um, okay. Ancestors, at, of pile number one, I pray for divine wisdom and truth and clarity, divine light and wisdom and love to come through. For. I feel like you guys have a lot of um, ancestors that want to come through and communicate or a lot of you guys chose this pile so I'll have to choose one okay they are encouraging you to protect your energy okay so some of you guys may resonate with the fairy realm you guys may or the phase some of you guys could Resonate with Celtic practices. Could be Danish for some of you. I'm going to pull one more. Okay, tell the truth. Okay. So yeah, some of you guys might be um, looked upon as kind of like meek or quiet, shy, or like too nice but you have a major big ancestor around you that is protecting you but i also kind of i feel like they're telling you to in order to protect your energy you're gonna have to be honest and tell the truth about something um getting that there might be some type of courageous co courageous i can't even talk courageous act by you speaking your truth and i feel like it's going to protect you it's going to keep you out of some type of situation or drama for some of you okay so i'm gonna leave it at that you guys and i'm getting a lot of male ancestry around you you guys could be um small but big in the spirit room as well you might be someone that is looked upon as smaller weaker too nice but you're actually really a powerful person and also a very strong person very confident person okay all right so that was pile one let's see pile number two let's see what does your ancestors want you to know at this time what is your message okay something with drums i'm getting as well for you um uh, let's see Oh, you have crystals with ampli amplification. So some of you may be led to work with crystals more and do some healing work. Some of these stones, they give off like carnelians and citrine type energy. Um, calcite, orange calcite, maybe amethysts. But I'm getting like bloodstones, um, like I said, citrines, carnelians red jaspers maybe tiger's eye crystals that you're being led to work with for specific purposes and reason these could be attached to the energy points in your body aka certain or specific chakras i'm gonna pull one more card the medicine shield with protection so your spiritual teams may be um calling you to i'm getting like some type of circle or uh ceremony like circle and might be led to wear feathers you might find big feathers somewhere and i feel like that's also a sign of the great spirit protecting you with you around you if you're seeing symbols of eagles that is your ancestors pointing you in the direction to protect yourself and i'm getting there's something with like a map or directions they could be telling you what to do where to go um, who to watch out for what to watch out for as well but i'm getting a strong energy of protection surrounding you as well 
um, something with a dream catcher. I don't know what you guys might have a dream catcher in your room. One with like white feathers could be like a red base with white feathers for some of you. Something with the color red, your ancestors may be calling you to wear more red, wear more yellow. That's what I'm getting for pile number two. Much love as always, y'all. Be blessed, be safe. All right, pile number three. <clears throat> if you guys were drawn to pile number three, this is your reading. Ooh, okay, cards trying to fly off the table. Come on. What is pile number three's ancestors? Want them to know. water guardian okay some of you guys may resonate with the marine kingdom some people say that it's demonic and all of that i don't mm, i don't really get into that too much i do feel like you guys resonate also with sirens or mermaids could also be some yamoya energy as well other water goddesses you guys could have an ancestor on the other side that was a water sign more so getting strongly Pisces Cancer. Not to say that they can't be Scorpio, but I'm getting a strong Cancer Pisces energy. Very nurturing, very mothering energy. They could have been from Cuba, Puerto Rico, Haiti. Could be in your ancestry. Connect with your emotions. Your spiritual guide is telling you. Your ancestors telling you to connect with your emotions right now at this time. Okay. Arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. Pretty much every um, deck or every pile got something about protecting themselves and their energy. And I'm also getting that your spiritual team is going to reveal to you. It's like an inner compass about certain things. Where to move, how to move, where to go, who to trust, who not to trust. Like they're giving you instructions and guidance. For some of you guys, you could be a Sagittarius and they're saying that when something when you feel something you're on point you're usually on point about it they're also telling you to shift the way that you you focus as well make sure that your intentions are direct and clear and very intentful surround yourself with people that have your best interests i'm also getting that the spiritual warrior energy your ancestors were spiritual warriors they don't back down they don't hide they don't run they face things head on, but I'm also getting not to be combative. Your ancestors may know a thing or two about that. But people that are around you that I don't know why I just heard my hitters. Some people that you think are your ones to trust, they're not. Some of them or one of them. You got to watch your circle. I feel like you're someone that is um, highly sought after. For some of you, if you are a male, you have, you know, a lot of haters. You intimidate a lot of masculine or other males. And not everybody is your friend. Not everyone's your homeboy, your brother. And if you are a woman, if you are a feminine, I'm getting that. You also need to be careful about who you surround yourself with, but even more so, like, make sure that you have people around you that fight and go hard just as much as you go hard for them. I'm getting mother energy, cancer vibes from this. Very protective. Maybe you are an earth sign as well. Very nurturing, very protective could be a libra feminine energy as well so i'm gonna leave it at that much love be blessed peace